how individuals and communities can protect themselves from the harmful effects of bad air, and what actions they can take to reduce their carbon footprint and mitigate climate change. Bad air quality can have serious consequences for our health and the environment. Breathing in ground-level ozone, which is formed when pollutants react with sunlight, can cause lung and throat irritation, coughing, wheezing, and asthma attacks. It can also damage plants and ecosystems, and contribute to global warming. Fortunately, there are some steps we can take to protect ourselves from bad air and help reduce its sources. One of the most important things we can do is to check the daily air pollution forecasts in our area. The Air Quality Index AQI, tells us when the air is unhealthy and what pollutants are causing the problem. We can find the AQI on local radio, TV, newspapers, or online at AirNow. Based on the AQI, we can plan our outdoor activities accordingly. For example, we can avoid exercising outdoors when the ozone levels are high, especially near high traffic areas. We can also choose easier activities that don't make us breathe as hard, such as walking instead of running. If we have asthma or other lung diseases, we should follow our management plan and carry our medication with us. Another way to protect ourselves from bad air is to limit our exposure to indoor sources of pollution, such as tobacco smoke, wood-burning stoves, candles, and cleaning products. We can improve the ventilation in our homes by opening windows or using fans or air conditioners with clean filters. We can also use plants that can purify the air, such as spider plants, snake plants, or aloe vera. Besides protecting ourselves from bad air, we can also take action to reduce its sources and mitigate climate change. One of the main causes of ozone formation is the burning of fossil fuels by cars, trucks, power plants, and industries. By using less energy and choosing cleaner transportation options, we can help lower the emissions of these pollutants. For example, we can walk, bike, carpool, or use public transit instead of driving alone. We can also use electric or hand-powered lawn equipment instead of gasoline-powered ones. We can switch to renewable energy sources such as solar or wind power for our homes or businesses. We can also conserve energy by turning off lights and appliances when not in use, using energy-efficient bulbs and devices, and adjusting our thermostats. By taking these steps, we can not only protect ourselves from the harmful effects of bad air, but also contribute to a healthier and more sustainable future for ourselves and our planet.